In this video, I want to show you how a collector uses the Parentesic archive. Let's start by logging in. As a collector logs in, he's taken to the collector dashboard. Here you get an overview of your data. There are collections over here on the left. This collector has 12 collections. Their location is displayed on the map over here on the right. Below this, we see the list of items ordered by most recent edits. This allows you to continue work where you stopped. This collector has 461 items. From this dashboard, you can create a new collection with this button here. We have made it simple to fill in the large form by providing many drop-down select fields and by allowing the, the collector to set the map from language. Let's choose a country. And a language that is spoken in this country. Then we can set map from language, which gives us the country and the where the language is spoken. There are still many fields to fill in, in a big form like this. So we have created an import interface for a tool that lets you create your collection and item metadata in the field. The tool is called Excite9 and creates XML files that we can import. Let's go back to our dashboard and upload an Excite9 field. Here is a button where you can upload the file. We click on the Upload button and select the file. Click to add it. If the data in the file is valid, a collection and several items are automatically created. This file created three items and one collection. The metadata is now pre-filled. We can complete it by hitting Edit. It filling in any additional information, such as an operator. Save. After adding the metadata for your items, you should also hand over your documents and recordings to the archive operators. They will prepare the digital files and seal them. When the archiving process has finished, you will find the digitized files added to their respective items as files here. You can see that this item currently has no content files. So this is a simple way for a collector to work with this item, uh, with this collection.